Well, there you see it, folks. Six tons is a 26 feet by 26 feet, 20 feet tall. And as we alluded to earlier, just to clarify, escaping the cage is irrelevant. It doesn't count. It's not a part of the equation to determine a winner. A winner is determined in the AEW rules by pinfall or submission, as it should have been all along. And now Cody heading up to the top rope. But Wardlow right there, a right hand. Yeah, dynamic right hand by Wardlow. This, this is a mistake for Cody. And all of this strength. Military press, locking those arms in is Wardlow. And Cody oh. just thrown like a rag doll against the steel. When you go up top against a person that strong and that powerful, you're helping them out. They don't have to lift you up. You're right at their height. Just JR, you've said it so many times. If you leave your feet voluntarily, there is the potential to pay a very heavy price. Look at Wardlow. Wardlow. My God. Oh. Senton. Cover. One. It two. could be over. Oh. A half a count away. Wardlow Come can't on. believe it. And MJ is begging for a three count. That was amazing for a man that size. Amazing. A 265 hey, pound. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, it's the, it's the diamond ring. That was a bit of difference, Mecca. We've seen it. And he cannot be disqualified for using it. Cody. Low blow. Retaliates. Returns the favor. And now Cody with the dynamite diamond. Oh, MJF is beside himself. That means there's two turds on the outside. Forty, forty-nine thousand dollars. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! Brandy, Brandy, standing by her man. Oh, come on! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Are you kidding me? Arn Anderson. Oh. I can't believe it was MJF. Was he really gonna hit Brandy? Could he have had the guts? The, oh my God! Think what could have happened. Oh, look at this. Come on, Crossroads. Crossroads. Will one be enough? Oh, oh. oh how close. Woohoo. That Tony out of his seat right there. The State Farm Arena held its breath. What's Cody looking for? He almost looked like he was in a daze or a trance or something. Oh, yeah, he's... Cody's looking to the sky. God, what's he doing? That is, no. is his oh, no. soon heaven on its way to hell? He saw something bad can happen when you're this high up. You're out of control. He, he's letting his emotion carry him away here. Oh my God! Oh, no. A top for the top. The leg is up. The leg back on is up. And Cody beats Wardlow to win the steel cage match. And now we know exactly what we have. Cody will be rolling in to Chicago on pay-per-view to challenge MJF finally. What the hell did we just see? We saw a kid that went crazy and moonsaulted off the top of the cage. We Let's take another look at this, Tony. Here's what we're asking about. No margin for error, high risk personified, hook the far leg as the amateur champion that he was, and bam! That is how dangerous Wardlow is. The lengths that Cody had to go to to defeat him. He had to come off the top of that steel cage in order to get a three count on Mr. Mayhem. You know, know this match? The American Nightmare, Cody! What is my name, he is saying? Looking right at MJF. My God, what heart, what courage. Look at this again, folks. There's absolutely no margin for error there. Wardlow in the wrong place at the wrong time. A perfect pin. That's a one reflex. He hooked the far leg, a deep cover. A very conventional end to a very unconventional steel cage matchup. Great angle, guys. That was the most amazing move I've ever seen off of a steel cage. Yes. Yeah, MJF ten days. is real. Yeah, 10 days, little fella. Ladies and gentlemen, the collision course has been set. 
We have one last stop before Chicago, and that will be next Wednesday night in Kansas City.